Dr. Phillips, uh, thank you for joining us today. We're glad to, to have you here and uh, share some of your experiences with us. Uh, and also, we're very interested in learning about uh, Neuralink and its system of uh, NIS. Um, I think the first question everybody would like to, to know is the NIS system is practiced by people around the, the world. Just what exactly is uh, NIS? Well, NIS is the Neural Integration System, which I guess is explanatory in terms of it is neural based. It is based from the brain and we're looking at that to integrate or find out what is not integrating within the human body. So essentially everything in the human body is governed by signals from the brain uh, to every cell and what we're doing is determining is that signal working appropriately for the glands, the tendons, the joints, even between one side of the brain and the other, between the front of the brain, the back of the brain, and that signaling and its feedback is the basis upon which we understand for that individual what is actually happening functionally. Today we have some very good understanding of science with MRI and various laboratory testing and so forth, but in many, many cases it doesn't give us any functional understanding of what is happening. Therefore, we are using the individual's own feedback system to determine what is going on with this computer as it resonates and understands and signals to every cell. We do that simply by using a sensory motor loop. That means a muscle, as we would sense what we're going to do to resist with that muscle. We sense that, and then the, the motor cortex will take over and allow us to resist. That particular program can be easily distracted if the brain is incongruent or failing to understand about feedback that is coming into or is going out to a particular cell. And so with that we are able to determine functionally that there is a breakdown between the brain and any of the body's systems. It was in that regard that I felt as anybody within medical practice is reliant on either a blood test, and we do that, of course, on a regular basis, reliant on an x-ray, reliant on an MR, but the functional interpretation has always got question marks over it. So when we are able to identify with a functional distraction within the nervous system, we then understand that for that person, that signal is not clearly understood and it is a failure that we won't get proper interpretation of that signal. And that's really what the neural integration system is about, is to find out what is personally going on at cell level for the individual. 